Hey everyone. All right, well, this is me trying to save this thing that stopped working my heart rate monitor. And uh, I've changed the belt on it. It's not really the problem. It seems to pair only for a moment and then it'll drop off. And so leave it for a little bit. And then I insert the battery there's no light right now not sure if I click the other side yeah nothing Sometimes it actually flickers momentarily if I lift it for longer without a battery and reset it. <clears throat> so, I am not sure, I can't really get in, inside it because it seems to be all sealed. So, I'm going to try to blow it open. So, let's see if I can actually do that. I'm just going to run the Stanley knife uh, in that seam here along the way and see if I can actually loosen it up and see if I can once I open it. Find out what the actual issue is. They like said, I mean, if it's under warranty, I wouldn't do that, but it's basically going to, to, a, to the trash bin, garbage bin. So, nothing to lose. And if I can fix it, then that's a bonus. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off here. Look at this, clean, rusty, it cannot be good, and try and clean that up now. It's a broken spring, it's a broken spring in here. I'm going to find something, look how it's supposed to be, see, this side is dead. Mm. Bugger. So now I gotta find something that I can use. Okay, let's see. I think I'll see if I can find something from a different unit or from a pen or something like that. I'm sure I've seen these around. Alright, <clears throat> so now just trying to find a spring to use for this side. I can't find anything. Uh, I've looked everywhere. The, the ones that come in these push pens, they're a bit uh, bigger and longer, uh, but they're definitely bigger. And they need to be this particular diameter uh, so that they actually um, fit inside the back of the buckle. See that, that indentation? So that, that's where the spring pushes through. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to make a spring from these uh, by cable. All right, so I'm gonna unwind one, one filament and then try and coil it and see if I actually succeed in making a making a, a spring. All right, so let's try that. Sexiest looking spring, but I think lengthwise it might be okay. Close enough. <laughs> it's pretty. I guess I'm just trying to try and clean that up. Mm. 
Oh, and then here, and then here, an ugly end. Okay, so now I've got the lower spring. Alright, see if I can actually get it to work. I mean, just need to solder this. Don't think I can do it without soldering it. Strap it on. Boom, baby. Hey, you fixed it. Sixty-six, seventy-four. It says 74, 67, 67 minutes ago, 72. It's very close. It's very close. Very close. So 68, 79. Mm. Not sure which. There we go. 67, 67. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think she's fixed. Woohoo! All right. I think we've got a fix for this. So. All I have to do now is take it off and put this back on it and we're good. That's it. Um, I think what I might do, I'll put a, just a line of super glue around it and yeah, hold it in. And well, I hope it seals well. I mean, yeah, pretty happy with that. That way, looks like it actually just clicks in. Oh, there you go, it just clicks in, but I'm gonna. Put a touch of super glue. Ooh, too much, too much. That's it. Let's try it on again. This is 75, 72, which is very close. There you go, 72, 68. I think she's good. Awesome. That saved me a hundy. And I can now use it because this one has the Bluetooth. The one I'm using right now does not. It's just got the AND plus. So now I've got two. Awesome. Thanks, Saul.